first and last known Addies is your crib. Stands to reason, you just might know the guy. In episode five, for whatever reason, Sarah is just really nervous about the interrogation room. Holder has found his strength in that arena, so he's definitely running the interrogation. And see, I've been doing this for a spell, mama. And see, we're at the point where I tell whoever's wearing orange that now's the time to be truly selfish. There's a recurring theme about Sarah's consciousness around mothers and mothering, because it's one of the things that she's thinking about most in her life right now, and she recognizes something in Mama Dibs in the way that she looks at the picture of Joe Mills. He isn't your lover, he's your boy. I don't think Sarah ever really feels like she has her groove back, not yet. It was definitely a win, but she's not fully in it yet. This is a search warrant hey, to enter you your can't premises. Just come. Go ahead. Joe's not here. Danette Leeds is a flawed parent. This episode for her is a final awakening to the danger her daughter's in, to how she may have been blind to that danger. People like you shouldn't have kids. There's nothing here, Linda. Linda's being real cold on Danette, and Holder doesn't really feel that that's very productive. And at the same time, he's a little bit pissed at her because he knows that she's not really staying in touch with Jack. You're pretty hard on moms back there. Don't start with me, Holder. Just saying, you spot it, you got it. Is that one of your addict sayings? He's sort of taking a jab at her for maybe playing with the double standard in this case. I ask for forgiveness every day. Mm -hmm. God's keeping score, is that it? You're just paving your way to the sweet by and by? These guys are talking about redemption and the way they feel. I think it would be too traumatic to go through it with them. What I'm looking for is that we all disassociate the most. Tell him I'm not asking for it so he can shove it up his heavenly rectum. Ray thinks they're foolish for not doing that. I'll be dead in two weeks and Adrian will be yours. Paper worker, no. So, why are you really here? I'm tough on Tess because I'm making sure that this person is up to the task of being the parent. His ideas of what good parenting is and what a good home is are pretty distorted compared to what the rest of us think. Hey! What? I know where she would go. I'll take you there. Well, like, hopes Lyndon and Holder can help. She doesn't know them well yet, but it is to actually seem to care about Callie. He sees like a female, younger version of himself, and he understands the hopelessness that she feels. She can get away with being such a pain in the butt because she is who she is. You know I got faith on here? Because no one's got it in me but me. Sarah's not feeling inclined to become emotionally attached, but she can't help but recognize Bullet's sensitivity, and there's kind of a lovely triangle in this episode between the three of them. Lobo said he saw some guy carrying a girl in the alley behind that vet. Having them stuck in a car together for the vast majority of the episode, we were really interested in pulling out ideas of friendship and ideas of loyalty and ideas of family. You go ahead to the hospital, I'll meet you there. I gotta go. When it wasn't Callie, she couldn't hide from it anymore. The chances have been dwindling all along and now they're all but none. She's probably dead, isn't she? Holder's taken on the role of a big brother. He understands her and he respects her and wants to help her out and take care of her. Bullet doesn't like authority figures or dudes because none of them ever done anything good for her in the past. But all of a sudden, this guy's both, and he gets her. You ever come to bed? The sky pretty much falls down on Danette. Everything that she relied on, this man as being her savior and her answer, and the one that would make her life matter. He may have killed her child. How easily we let monsters into our homes when we are unable to see beyond our own needs. The Killing. New episodes premiere Sunday nights at 9, only on AMC. For more exclusive video, go to amc.com.